Lok Sabha member of parliament and Congress leader Gaurav Gogoi while reacting on President Jopati Murmu address in parliament today said that the way democracy was crushed in Chandigarh's mayor elections in the same way economic and social issues were crushed in a president's speech Gaurav Gogoi alleged that the way those close to prime minister Narendra Modi are being benefited this year's budget will continue to benefit the ruling party as well Another setback to NPP Congress in Arunachal Pradesh as several switched to the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP in Papumpare ahead of assembly elections in Arunachal Pradesh. Several workers of the National People's Party NPP and Congress joined the world's largest political party BJP in a mass joining program at Dungshi village. Mr. Nalo Wan Panchayat under Sandupoto Circle of the 14 Duimukh Assembly constituency in Papumpare district of Arunachal Pradesh. Drugs worth rupees 30.17 crore were seized and two persons were arrested in two separate operations in Mizoram. The Assam Rifles said today, as per report, Assam Rifle recovered 34.99 grams of heroin, number no. four worth rupees 17 lakh 49,500 in the general area of Zima Bog, Oizwal, and apprehended one individual on 29 January 2024. Further, one lakh methamphetamine tablets weighing 11.7 kg worth rupees 30 crore in the general area, Zokota Champai district, on 30 January 2024, and apprehended one individual. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar today said that Rahul Gandhi was taking fake credit for conducting Bihar caste census, after the latter claim it was Congress and RJD who had pushed him to conduct it. Has he forgotten when the caste census happened? I conducted it in 2019-2020. I would talk about conducting a caste census. Nitish added. The Delhi court stated that parents who give their daughters-in-law a hard time for not being able to fulfill the desire of preserving their family tree need to be educated that it is their son and not his wife whose chromosomes will decide the child's gender. Even if the judgment becomes the birthplace of such enlightenment. It will go a long way to change the mindsets of perpetrators of crimes and save life of innocent married women by using principles of science through principles of law. Justice Sawarana Kanta Sharma said. A series of attacks in Balochistan, Pakistan, resulted in the loss of 15 lives. Security forces engaged in a gun battle to repel the assault on a high-security prison. The responsibility for this incident has been claimed by the Balochistan Liberation Army. Currently, an operation is being conducted to clear the area. Indian sailor Vishnu Saravanan finished 26 in the ILCS Seven World Championship held in Adelaide, Australia, and with it, he secured a spot in the Paris Olympic Games 2024. This is India's first spot in sailing and 36 overall for the upcoming Summer Games. Vishnu sailed one of the seven Olympic quotas available at the event. 